Hi guys, uh, we're on the ground in Anchorage. I've just arrived at the airplane, we've done the pre-flight checks. Now a number of you ask us where we get our speeds from and how we get uh, to know what uh, thrust we're going to set for takeoff. We use the ACAR system, even though we do have a system on our iPad here, I could use what we call the Boeing OPT, which is this one here. I could select that. So we could use the onboard performance tool, but for our data, uh, we normally use the ACARS at the moment, but we're gradually moving all the systems to the uh, onboard performance tool. So for, day, for today, we're using the uh, ACAR system. It is Anchorage, it's the tower, lovely day. It's Yana Cargo and the white tail here, I don't know who that belongs to. But uh, we've done the pre-flight check, so as I said, the ACARS system, we get all our weights, because the load sheet has already come through. There's our weights for today. So in the ACAR system, I have load sheet, and I have the uh, ATIS already printed out. So I come here where it says RTOW request, select that. And on there, as you can see, it's already been populated. You put the airport in, on my 25 right, temperature is 10 degrees, QNH, got about five knots of headwind. That's our actual takeoff weight, 434.2 tons. We put that in, zero fuel weight, we put that in as well. The runway is dry, optimum flap setting. We let the system decide what's the best flap setting to use. And the next page has got, are we using packs on? Yes, no engine anti ice, optimum rating, whatever we use. And if there were any MEL items affecting performance, we put them in there as well. Having done that, we select send. That's been sent, and when it comes back, this is what comes back from us, and it prints automatically. So the, the stuff above the dotted line here is all the stuff that we put in, we requested from Anchorage, 25 right, 10 degrees, 1019, we put in five knots headwind, and we told it it was dry, and we're gonna take off with packs on and anti-ice off. So with, the, with that, it comes back with the data, so I requested it again, and you can see it's just about to print the data again that I've just been showing you. So it comes back with a thrust rating of TO, a D-rated thrust of 33 degrees. Assumed temperature, there it is, it's the same thing. I just wanted to show you how it comes out and prints automatically. And then it's got a weight band here, which we must make sure we're within that band that applies. So as long as this takeoff weight is within the band at the top there, then we're okay. We're just on the upper end of that limit, 434.7. So the TO is going to be that, and the N1 for takeoff is 96.2. It's told us we've got to depart with flaps 20. The V1 will be 152, VR 165, and V2 178. It also gives you the VMCG on there. Below that, it gives you the engine out acceleration altitude of 1,000 feet, which it is for here. Supplementary information is that we could take off from here at 453.5 tons under the conditions with flaps 20 and a TO maximum rating. So we could depart Anchorage today with max takeoff weight, which is 447. The other data down here, it gives you the all engine climb gradient. Minimum gradient achieved 5.8% to 2,520 feet AAL. And then the average gradient to 5,000 feet, it gives you that. The reason that's there is because some airports needed to maintain a minimum gradient to a certain point on the standard instrument departures. So it gives us that information as well. And if it didn't meet that requirement, we'll change the thrust rating to make sure we can meet the uh, takeoff or initial climb gradient. That's why that information is there for us. And the gradients are normally annotated on the standard instrument departure chart. That's where you'd find it. And it will tell you whether you can meet the gradient required for the takeoff. So in this case, there isn't a problem for takeoff gradient, so there's no point in us checking what the required gradient is. So that's where we get our data from, and we're gonna set those speeds in a minute. We're just waiting for the fuel to be finished. It's nearly there, and our takeoff, we're looking for 126.2 tons. So it's just about getting there now. And um, once that's done, we'll be on our way. Right, Dirk? Yes. That's Dirk. He's yeah. <laughs> 
Jack, you're from France. Uh, no, Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. Uh, which part of Belgium? Uh, just the center, Brussels. Brussels. Yeah. Brussels. Brussels. Yeah. So Vinted? Uh, no, near the linguistic border, just near the woods. Okay. Uh, That's better, right? Yes. So Vinted is full of air crew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you've just joined us from the triple seven. Mm -hmm. But you were on the seven four before, weren't you? Uh, yes, around uh, eight years ago. Eight years ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Thank you. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it in a way. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so that's uh, what we're doing now on the ground in Anchorage. Refueling is just finished. I'll talk to you guys later.